How's it going everybody? So today I want to show you guys a very simple but effective A site execute that Team Spirit pulled off against Falcons in the quarterfinals of IEM Katavisa. While Team Spirit did this on a pistol round, this is a strat that you could very easily pull off against a full buy or pretty much any time you ever want to use this utility. So let's go ahead and get started here. We're going to start off by looking at Chopper's POV. And if you look at the top of your screen, you can see Spirit's buy here. They have two smokes, a flash, and a Molotov, as well as a P250 on Shiro, so you can take those longer ranged engagements. So they're going to just be slowly creeping up here, taking that space towards A main. And all in the meantime, Magix is going to drop Chopper an extra smoke grenade, and he's going to set up here to throw two nice little smokes to help them take the site practically for free. So he's gonna line this up right here and do a W jump throw at this position for a CT smoke. And then he's gonna do another W jump throw at that fern for a donut smoke. Right after that, Shiro is going to molly off backside. Donk's gonna throw a nice team stay flash. And they're gonna walk out and destroy the CTs as they try to push through donut desperately to fight. And just like that, a double entry goes the way of Donk and team spirit pretty much have the round one right off the bat. So let's go ahead and break down Chopper's initial utility set and then talk about the other supporting utility that was thrown by Shiro and Donk. So starting off, Chopper's gonna go right here into this corner. Magix is gonna drop him an extra smoke right here into the same position. And he's going to position his crosshair right here at the bottom of where this line intersects with this fern. So he's gonna go right here and he does what looks to be a W jump throw. And that smoke is gonna go all the way back here. It's gonna bank off of this back wall and it's gonna fully smoke off the CT area right here. Now, in my opinion, um, a jump throw works a little bit better. This kind of bleeds out a little bit too much to where they could almost slip out behind the box, right? Um, and you'll see that kind of in the clip where it doesn't look like the best smoke. So I recommend doing that exact same lineup, but just doing a simple jump throw instead of a W jump throw. And that should go a little bit deeper. Now, there may be a reason for him doing that, but in my opinion, this is a little bit of a cleaner smoke um, as it doesn't bleed out quite as much. So, uh, you know, to me, at least it looks like he's throwing the W jump throw. I could be wrong, but I definitely recommend doing a simple jump throw and not a W jump throw for the smoke. So right after Chopper throws this smoke, he then positions his crosshair right where this leaf starts to wilt down and he does a W jump throw with that. So essentially you get a nice two smoke setup just like this that makes it very, very easy for your teammates to push onto site and not have to worry about too many angles all at once. And right after Chopper ends up throwing the smoke set, right, Shiro is able to go right here into this position and without exposing himself to Temple, he ends up throwing a Molotov off the back of this wall to fully molly off all of back site to where no one can stand behind these boxes and take the fight. And right after that molly's thrown, Donk ends up throwing a nice little step forward over the flash behind this box to not blind his teammates as they run out, but anyone that decides to try to push through this smoke is going to get absolutely roasted by a flashbang. So it's a really good setup, and you can see in the situation for the round that they ended up winning, um, it destroyed Falcons. They had to tuck back into that donut smoke, and then they had to come back out a little bit too late, and Donk just dismantled them. There is no donut smoke yet. Eventually it will land. That's the second smoke coming in alongside CT. So Donk swings out. There's the pistol. Started off strong again from Donk and that quad don't stop. Donk pushes forward, breaks through the A defense and has pushed Falcons completely away. So yeah, guys, I hope you enjoyed this video and learned something new. I really enjoy making these sorts of professional utility breakdowns because I feel like I learn a lot and I really hope that you guys do as well. If you feel like you get a good use out of my videos, please consider subscribing because it helps me out a ton. Anyways, guys, see you in the next one.